Fishing Magician Outdoor Cooking Show. I'm Dave Grable, your host. I'm with Chef Mike Abels today. We're at Chateau Fair La Pont here in Wenatchee, down in the old station area, at this fabulous winery that has got a terrific reputation for producing some great meals out of Mike's Kitchen. And one of the things they're featuring right now is Cajun style cooking. And Mike's agreed to bring us into his kitchen and show us how he prepares a great Cajun meal. And at the top of the list on our menu today is Cape Blackened Ribeye. Is that Stuffed right? with blue cheese. Stuffed with blue cheese. Oh my goodness, this is fabulous. Now, Mike, when you're preparing a meal like this, there's some advanced preparation that's required. Yeah, well, we blend the spices. Um, you, can, you can buy blue cheese or the blackened spice already made, and that's fine, but when I started in this business, they didn't have that. So we started blending our own spices. And now that they have that, we kind of start with that and just add the rest of it to it. So you get a fresh flavors and now, and I see what you've got. You've got your Cajun style seasoning that you yes. can buy off the shelf. You've got a little bit of cayenne pepper, yes. black pepper, white pepper. pepper. Then, uh, is this oregano? Oregano, uh -huh. tarragon, and parsley. Fabulous. So, those are the main ingredients that you yes. blend to satisfy your demands in a good Cajun sort of flavor that you. Now, you also have here a very nice piece of ribeye, and you are going to tell people a little bit about what to look at in a good piece of ribeye. Yes, um, the ribeye is a, it's a muscle that's not used very much, but one end of it is further away from the chuck than the other. Okay. And you're paying the same amount for both ends, so you want there's a good end and there's a end that's not quite as good. Okay. So I was going to show you all that. Let me see what you're talking about there. I'm sure people would be very interested in knowing what the good end is on the good piece of the ribeye. Well, this is the whole ribeye. Uh -huh. And when you're looking at it, we haven't cut this at all yet. This is straight uh -huh. from the meat market. This end is nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Look at this end, you've got the stuff starting to go through it. That's getting closer to the chuck end. Okay. Yep. So, cut it off this end, it's going to be a nice and tender yeah. and marble, but with the right kind of marble. Right. You, see, you can see a little bit more gristle and yeah. things like that at this end, and that's moving toward the chuck. Right. Okay. Now, how far in advance do you like to apply your Cajun seasoning to your meat. It can it can be done 24 hours in advance, but it, it's it's we do it right before the order. Sure. In the restaurant, we you get the order and then you we cut the steak. Um, we use a little bit of butter on the steak to help the seasoning stick to it and sure. cook it right up. If if you're planning an outing and you want to do that step at home, put it in a Ziploc bag, that's absolutely fine. That's great. Put that in your fridge the night before, yeah. right in the cooler, and you're ready to travel with it. All right. Well, that's great. Well, and what else do we have on our menu today? Well, we're going to do a grilled portobello. We're going to marinate it with extra virgin olive oil and some oh, boy. secret sauce I made. I, I had some huckleberries that we boiled up, added some honey, and balsamic vinegar and oh my. Um, just reduced it down until it's a nice syrup. So we're going to drizzle it with that, a little garlic, a little basil. And oh my up. goodness. And I see some beans too. Yeah, we're going to boil the beans, um, layer them in some lasagna sheets. And this is another thing that um, can be done in advance or um, it's fine to do it right at right in your kitchen, right. but it, it can all be done in advance. If you want to 
um, boil the beans, put them in a cooler, and we just set a little pot on the stove or on the grill, let it cook um, the lasagna. We just boil them till they're soft, and these can be heated up on the grill too. We'll demonstrate that. Perfect. Well, I tell you what, in just a minute, we're going to put those elements together. The first thing we're going to do is get that ribeye in the grill and get this fabulous meal going. Hi! You are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are gonna. Fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like Grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free-range chicken fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue next to the Buzz Inn. Well, lucky us, you know, I would be lost if someone told me that they were going to stuff a ribeye. I mean, I've had them, and I love blue cheese and steak. So Mike is going to show us how he actually cuts the ribeye, applies, gets his spices mixed up. He's going to show us the whole process. That's very special. So Mike, I'm going to let you take it away. Well, we're just going to mix these. We've already got the appropriate proportions, so it's just a matter of putting them all together and stirring them up. That's just, you know, a great blend. And would you use the same sort of mixture to do chicken or fish? Um, or would you change it slightly? Yeah, we change it a little bit depending on whatever the protein is. Um, for chicken, I like to use a lot of thyme oh, in it. It okay. really comes out, and I don't use the, um, the tarragon. Interesting. So, okay. And then with the with the actual black and spice that we buy at the store, we buy the one that there's basically there's two out, and one of them has fennel seed in it. That's that's great with steaks, but not as not good for fish. Not, not as good for a fish or chicken. Okay. And interesting. the tarragon goes great with steak or with fish. We yeah. used to make a black and red fish, um, and the tarragon just made the whole dish pop. It was fantastic. I really love tarragon. Yeah. Okay, so, so we made the spices. Good spices. And I'm just going to cut this. Um, show you how beautiful that oh, is. My and you look kind of hungry, so <laughs> we're going to go a little bit on the big side. Just in one glance, he knew what kind of an eater I was. 
Now that's a chef. <laughs> so we've got, you've got a nice, nice piece of meat. Yeah. And what we're going to do is just go right in the back. Make a big deep pocket. Oh, okay. Now, you notice before the segment, I sharpened a knife a little bit. Yes. That's, that's just so you can glide it right in there. Yeah. Um, Okay. If you go sharpen a knife, you're gonna. There's a good chance you go right through your hand if you just have to really push on it. Sure. Um, now we're gonna cut this piece off. Don't need it. And we've got a beautiful pocket. So it's, we use a little bit of butter, just plain melted butter, to help the seasoning stick to the ribeye. Okay. Um, like a blue cheese. Beautiful, big, chunky blue cheese. And what I found is the more you get in there, the better. Oh, so you really pack it in. Good. <laughs> that sounds good to me. something that if you're doing an outing, you can do this ahead of time. Um, sure. And the herbs show up, you got lots of different colors there, so it's going to look fantastic when it's cooked. And we're ready. Very, very nice. Okay, so now that that's all ready to go. And I noticed your bean dish, too, you use quite a different a variety of different beans in this. Yeah, um, you want to make sure you get everybody's favorite bean. Ah, so there you go. Just go with the 15 variety bean bag and you're good. There's 15 varieties of bean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got it covered. Yeah. Well, that's fabulous. And with these, um, it's good if you, if you, the night before you cook them, just put them in a, in a bucket or something with water. Let them soak, but give them room because the first time I was told to do this by my chef um, 30 years ago, Put them in a bucket, added water to it, and it did they it double in size. Smelled. So oh. we had beans all over the walk-in floor. <laughs> oh, so I learned my lesson give the first them time. That's give, them, give them twice as much room. So just fill the container up halfway. Gotcha. All right. Well, now we've got the secret to steak and beans. And I think what we want to do next, let's get that mushroom prepared. And he's going to show us exactly how to prepare it big portobello with his secret sauce. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like Grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free-range chicken, fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence, knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat, fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue, next to the Buzz Inn. Hi! You are not going to believe this. 
I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Look, this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. Let me get a camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Well, now we're ready to put that beautiful steak on the grill. And oh man, that's going to drive me crazy, just the aroma of that grilling. And while that's cooking, Mike's going to show us in more detail about how he prepares that mushroom, that portobello yes. mushroom. And as you notice, we've already got our beans up here. And of course, that's just the item that takes the longest to get those finished. So those are already pretty much done. Let that go in now. Show us how you prepare that special mushroom. Well, what I've done already is snap out the center, and then we use a spoon just to scrape out the um, black part. In restaurants, we don't want to serve that because it, it kind of doesn't look as good as... Um, it just doesn't have eye of piece. Yeah. And then spread it lots oh, of garlic. Okay. We get that all spread. Um, fresh basil. secret marinade. This can be done ahead of time, put in a Ziploc bag. I like to marinate these for about 15 minutes before cooking them. Oh, okay, so good. To allow yeah. that to go to work. Yeah, the flavors will blend better. Um, we're going to do it just like this for now. Um, That's great. What a beautiful cap. Yeah. And as you mentioned earlier, that in your particular sauce, you've got some reduced blueberry. Is yes. that right? That must be fun for people to experiment with their own special little secret sauce, too. But now they know what to start with. And yeah, and what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of the oil and rubbing it oh. back. I want to start cooking it on the back first. Gotcha. Just place that on the grill, and it's going. So it doesn't have steaks on there. Oh, yes. I can see all that as soon as we put it on the grill. Oh, that is fabulous. Now, what's the next step with your beans here? Well. One thing what I haven't talked about yet is the pasta. We're gonna we're gonna serve the beans with a little bit of pasta, and um, we just boil the pasta a little bit, and basically just blanching it for about three minutes in salt and water. And then, since we're a fancy restaurant, I use a little leaf cutter, cut them out, and we just drop them in a the fryer. So basically, this is a little pasta chip. Oh, like okay, there you chip. go. And with these. To warm them up, just warm them up on the grill. All right. And we're calling it lasagna, so we'll put a little cheese on there. Oh, fabulous. So we'll have a nice soft beans, a little crunchy pasta. There we go. Well, oh, great. Okay, well. I'm the next thing you see is going to be all of this on a plate and me with a knife and a fork ready to dive in. You already know Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market for their local fruits and vegetables, but where's beef? <laughs> it's here now. Farm fresh, born in the USA, no added hormones, natural beef, just like grandpa used to raise. Beef, pork, and free range chicken, fresh from the farm to your table. You can feed your family with confidence knowing that you're serving all naturally raised fruits, vegetables, and now meat, fresh from the farm. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on North Wenatchee Avenue, next to the Buzz Inn. Hi, you are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get a camera. I, I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral.
Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do. Commercial business use, home heating, water heating, pool and spa heating, clothes drying, fuel for kitchen stoves, and of course, grilling. Propane is extremely affordable, clean burning, and extremely efficient. For a location near you, check your local Yellow Pages or visit us at Amerigas.com. Enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery, flexible payment options, and customer referral awards. Amerigas, America's propane company. Reliable, safe, and responsive. Well, Mike, this is fabulous. I can't believe the combination that you've created here. And I, excuse me while I just dive in here. I just cannot wait. Look at those beautiful chunks of blue cheese. And I'm really curious about that. Mm. That's a fabulous flavor. And I must say, it is not hot. No, no, it's not. Not at all. No, no. But what a rich, bland combination of flavors. One of the things I wanted to mention, too, that I noticed right before he served this, the same secret sauce that he put on the portobello mushroom, he applied to the steak, too. And that's a nice, sweet layer, nice contrast to that. The portobello is very sweet, very meaty. What a fabulous, with the, the natural basil and all that. And your bean lasagna, look at that nice crispy. And the beans, and I noticed that you also used a little bit of mushroom in that as well. Yes. What a creative addition to this plate. I just really think that's a great idea. Wonderful flavor too. And Mike, you are in the winery, and I wanted yes. you to pick out one of your favorite bottles that would go with this meat. Well, I grew up in high school years. I spent down in Sunnyside in the Lower Yakima mm. Valley, and one of the doctors that my dad worked with grows grapes. And it just so happens that Doug, the winemaker and owner of Chateau Fredo Pond, makes wine from That's grapes same. grown in the Sunnyside region. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, 47 Hills um, ABA. This Cabernet Sauvignon is available here, and it goes fantastic in this state. Deep, rich, full-bodied wine. Mike, once again, thank you so much, and thank Debbie, one of the owners here at Chateau Fair La Pont, and showing us how he makes his famous blackened Cajun-style ribeye steak.